Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we have the Battle of the Bunker Hills. We're going to start with this thing. It's been giving me headaches. One time it'll pick really super easy, the next time it picks very hard. So let's see if we can get lucky and get it on camera now. It's very temperamental on pressure, so I'm just holding it over just enough pressure to... Bind a little bit. I think I overset pin one, so we'll start again. I go a little bit heavier pressure. Get right on the tip of that pin. And still no. Okay. Okay, pin one feels like it's set pretty good. So just a little bit heavier than standard pressure. Just got a little click off of two, three, four, five. All of those little creaks in there tell me that I'm in trouble. Okay. Small click on one, small click on two, nothing on three, four, okay, so now I'm just going to run my pick up the pins and just kind of brushing over the pins. And then I pushed one of the, one of the pins was just barely hanging up. So brushing over the pins, uh, knocked the pin loose and put it in. So BB Telpix asked me to, um, explain how I did do these locks. This lock is very tricky. Um, I try to get pin of all the things that I've done. The most success I've had is getting pin one to set first and then using light pressure with the tension wrench and just very light presses and very, very soft clicks from two through four. And then just kind of go back and checking the pins really lightly, brushing across them like I did there. And I brushed from three to four or four to three, sorry, as I was brushing backwards and I kind of hit four and then I brushed three and it tipped it open. All right, so let's go to this 50 millimeter laminated bunker hill. These things are a cakewalk. And I, I have not uh, seen the keys on these. I, I have them there in the package, but I never did look at them. So of all the messing I've done with these locks, I never looked at the keys. So, All right, so let's see if I can find pin one here. I need to back the tensioner out because I'm picking the tensioner. One, two, three. Hmm. Let's see here. For some reason now I can't feel the pins on these. So we're going to go with super heavy tension. There we go. Nice even press of one, two, Three. These take a little bit more pressure and they'll, you can just feel them drag and they'll come right open. So, if it's too light a pressure, then I tend to not feel anything. Go with a little bit heavier pressure where I'm kind of flexing the wrench just a little bit. Nothing on one, nothing on two, three, and I click on four. Nothing on three, nothing on two, and one. So somewhere in there, this lock I know that if I go from the, from the back to the front, well, if I do it cleanly, if 
if I go straight back to pin four, click on four, click on three, a light click on two, and locks and make a liar out of me. Of course. I got that one too quickly, so these other ones that are normally easy are going to make it harder on me. Okay, so nice heavy pressure here. Nice click on four. Nice click on three. Not really anything on two. Maybe a light click. And then I got to find pin one. Pin one's there. Up behind the tension wrench. I was too close to pin one. Let's do that one more time just because, because I don't want, I already look foolish, but I want to prove that it's, so I'll go back to four, good click on four, light click on three, light click on two, and nice solid click on one. All right, so. I have not gutted this thing yet, um, but I think it is guttable. I think you, I can pull this screw and that'll come out. And no, it's not guttable. It'll come out, but I'd have to tap um, a pin here and I'm not gonna tap that pin. Uh, there's a roll pin. I'd have to knock the roll pin out and then I could take the tailpiece would come off So I'm not gonna do that We'll leave it at that That is the battle of Bunker Hill and I will tell you that These two were easy. This one here Was kind of a pain so There you go. Uh, I have no real good advice on that one. Um you just have to go through and feel out the pins. You know, it just takes a light touch, light pressure with the pick, and take your time going through it and just learn it. Um, that one will definitely test your picking prowess coming from like 1100s and stuff. That one, that one will teach you about tension. Too much, too little, it's, it's not going to go. You got to get it just in the sweet spot there. Thank you very much for watching and have a great rest of your day.